some recording. So, how do you do use polling line, which is the major discussion we want to have here? Now, when you place your mouse on that polling line, it reads, creates a 2D polling line. A 2D polling line is a connected sequence of segments created as a single planner object. Now, if I want to create a single planner object, once I select PL for polling line and on my auto mode or maybe whatever, I can draw the same rectangle we were drawing yesterday. I say, okay, for this, make this one 100. Presenter, move my hand down, 100. Presenter, move my hand here, 100. Presenter, and you can close it up by yourself. Then use your zoom, use your zoom tool to zoom it to the center. So then you can apply your dimension at will, right? So see my dimension at will. My dimension brought out this thing, so which is this. Now, we can add text to it. Text, text. How do you add text to something? So text can be found under your annotation, the same place where you have your dimension. So I can write anything I want. So I can say, oh, this is, uh, this is a region for steam plants. I can to write your text. Once you select this place, there are two ways to write text: single line or multi line. So if I select single line, how do I draw? How do I write my text with single lines? See what you are going to do. The first thing you do is you will drag like as if you want to draw a line this way. Let me select it again. Select single line. There are two ways to draw line. Uh, to draw uh, to to write our text by select this by click start point of text pattern. What's the height? It's asking that what is the height of the text you want? I say okay, let the height be 2.5. Hit enter. What's the rotation? Let the rotation be zero. Then say oh yeah, write the text. I want to write it. I want to start writing the text now. I'll say okay, maintain. 1.2 meter away from gas turbine slab. Once I'm done, once I'm done, I just eat. And you don't eat enter again. I, I just click outside the text, outside, just to, and this text will write will be written. Let me do that process again. I select single line. I want to write inside it now. The first thing you do is, it says that specify start point of text. Where do you want the text to start? I click here. It says that I should specify the height. What height? What should be the height of the text? Now, this time around, I want to make the height of the text to be bigger. I will say, let the height of the text be 3.5. And I'll press enter. Now, it's asking that, do you want to specify rotation and the rotation? Do you want it to rotate? No, I just want it to be at zero. So zero is the default. Just type zero and punch enter. Now the text is blinking. The cursor is at the middle and is blinking, waiting for you to type. So this time around, I'm going to type, I'm going to type uh, 2.5 millimeter. Or I can say, uh, I can say process engineer should reach, should ensure that dimension, I press enter so that I can write in, in the next line. If you don't press enter, it will continue writing on that straight line. On but for, line. You to, uh, okay. uh, for you to write, continue, uh, uh, process, process engineer should ensure that dimension lines are maintained. Before, once you are done, press outside the text and press your escape and use your pan to or whatever, just use your move this time around to select the object one after the other because it's single, it's single and that's it. Now, let's see the difference between single line text and multi-text. This time around, to draw the multi, to do it for multi-text, see, you will do you will draw as if you want to draw a rectangle. That rectangle will, will define the height 
and everything of that multi-text. And this time around, is a multi-text presenter. You will write the same thing. Process engineer to, to observe 10 mm, 100 mm from low level bed. And once you are done, close editor at the top. Now, if I select this object, you can see it selected all the multi. Hello, Baba. All Sorry, I want to bring something to your attention. Okay, you are recording. No, no problem. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All the, all the multi text is selected. But once I select this, this one is single line. Single line text. Single line text. So that is the difference between the two ways of drawing this uh, text. You understand my recording? Now, there are several ways to draw hacks. Number one is three points. How do you draw with three points? Specify the first point, click, and remove your auto mode. Uh, you can remove your auto mode. We are drawing with three points. I've specified number one, number two, and number three. That is the first one. Okay. The second one, the second one is the second one is start, center, end. That is specify start. Start here. Specify center. I want the center to be here. And specify end. I want it to end like this. So this place was taken as its center. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Uh, here. Mm -hmm. And start, end, center. That is used when you know the start of a point, or you know the center, or you know the end. So with that, you can be able to draw an arc. This, uh, the third one is start, center, angle. What should be the angle? I want the angle to be 45. So you can see, this is a 45 degree arc. Uh -huh. And the center is somewhere here. So you see that the arc does not have length or radius. You understand? It's usually starts, center, or radius, or whatever. Now, this is another one. Start, end, direction. Start, end here. And I want the direction to be below, or you want the direction to go above. You understand? These are ways to... The only thing you need to be following is, it depends on the drawing. Take for instance, if I have a drawing like this, if I have a drawing like this, and I was meant to complete this place with an arc. So what am I going to do? I will study. This will be, okay, this will be, uh, this will be start, end. It now depends on direction or direction. Okay. So I can now pick start, end. If you want the direction like this or like this, depends okay, on okay. what you are looking for. You understand? So yeah, that's yeah. how to accomplish that. Another way is we could add start end radius. Start end. What do you want the radius to be? Radius of 10. And if the radius cannot draw, it will tell you that that radius is too small for that place or is too big for that place. And okay. the last one I'm going to look at is or we have many of them, but there is also another one, center, start, end. So it all depends on what you choose to do. And that is all for the polyline and the arc. So in the next uh, video, you are going to see, in the next video I'm going to do with you, we are going to accomplish that same drawing using that method. I'm not going to draw the first one, I'm going to, I will choose the second one so that you can draw it and you see how you can be able to use the arc and the measure of that. So I'm going to drop another link for everyone so that you can join.